Okay, and now we can tackle that thing in that area. Which was the blue icon? Search for some snow elk. The snow used to be so much deeper around here. Hmm. Guess it really has been getting warmer. Guess so. Everyone, over here! What is it, Gloria? Look at these footprints. They're enormous. Too big to have been made by a bear, even. Oh, Jesus. What was that? Whoa! Look at that What are you talking about? That is a bear! Crikey! This will be the wild who left those footprints. He's a big old unit, eh? He ate all the snow elves. Damn it! Look out, everyone! I didn't know we would get into this type of battle. Come on, then. It's kind of like that time we were looking for mushrooms. Oh, wait, are we going to see Dag and Celine again? Ah. Better cover up. Yeah. 39,000 super doable. Nice. Let me help you. You are about to witness my true power! Let's go! 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 Let's go
to witness my uh, true power. Might knows no bounds. Yes, Gloria, so kill him. Two hands are better than one. Mug. Another step in Sub the right direction. Sub job special. Ooh. How about that? What the heck was that thing? Yeah. <laughs> it looked like a bear, but some kind of monster vibe version, I guess. Perhaps it was what caused all the snow elk to disappear. Could be. Wonder where it came from. Maybe our friend the innkeeper knows. Shall we go and ask him? Yes, I think we should. Let's head back to town. That was a that was a way to end the quest. <laughs> Okay, um, to the Wayward Woods we go. Uh, I didn't want to be back here. I hated this place. Let's do this quick. Out of the way. How many layers deep are you going to be, man? Ah, oh, it's at the beginning of the werewolf world. Oh, not what I expect. Oh, this is the big open area that had nothing in it. No sign of our guy here. Oh, right. There's plenty of places to get lost around these parts. This is a voice one. I completely forgot. Uh, help! Somebody help me! Oh, crap. I didn't think we were going to fight. That doesn't sound good. It came from over there. Quickly. There he is! Hey! Are you okay? Don't worry, we're here to help! Oh god, I wasn't ready for this. Come, do your worst! I'm up, huh? <laughs> okay! Okay, I am gonna need Does some that feel MP pretty badly. Okay, okay that, that was very doable. Uh, let's just build up some turns for now. Let's see. Guess it's my turn. All right, then. You are about to witness my true power. Hmm. What happens to us? Yeah. Dark knives and swords. Let's see. Oh, oh, that feels so good. Oh no, charm. Wait, we got purge. We can get rid of charm. Yes. That wasn't the best plan. <sighs> the sleep berserk try. Oh my god. While well, she's sleeping. I guess it's fine. Right on the 
Oh no, 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 no. Hang in there, alright? Holy snaps. That was really close. Oh, they had they went all in for that. Oh boy. Yeah, we should be good. One more hit. We're in good territory. Yes, Godspeed Strike! Right Basuna Bringer! Solid Slash! Elvis is getting pretty close to that JV upskill. <sighs> Thanks. Are you the merchant with the Wizwald connection? Your friend asked us to come find you. He did? Well, thank goodness you managed to track me down. You really got me out of a jam there. I, I couldn't find my way out, and then those monsters started chasing me. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> You know why they call it the Wayward Woods, right? Hmm, I wonder. What well, do now? What a place! There I was, trying my best to get out, only to keep ending up back in the same spot! <laughs> Wouldn't I know? Oh, sounds like you've had quite a scare. Come on, let's get you back to town. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if there's anything else here, because this was literally just a big open spot with nothing in it. Well, in that case, we can head back to... Rhyme Doll. I'm really glad that the teleport takes you back to where you entered the dungeon from, rather than where the start of the dungeon is. Oh! Shiny... Actually, since I'm out here, I might as well do the pigment. I might as well do the other ones that I can. So, like the pigment one. Uh, so I'll take away the wayward merchant. Put on the big brush off. Yeah, lots of green markers. This. It's usually okay. No, that's just the tools. Spirits of the damned. Okay. That ought to be enough. Time to get painting. Very well, but can we really afford to be wasting our time on such frivolities? For once, I'm kind of with Gloria here. It's you know, war's kind of started. You bet we can. Come on, Princess Fusty Pants. Back to the fusty end. pants. <laughs> Miss out on a chance to show off my skills? Not likely. Okay, cool. I wonder what they use as pigment. Let's go to the inn. We need to heal up anyways. Could have used a tent! Keep forgetting! Ah, oh, this one's already here. All right, let's get to work. You ready? I think so, yes. But what are we going to paint? Gloria's gonna destroy Adele, I, I just know it. Yeah, good question. Hello, ladies. <laughs> hey, sailor boy, come model for us. Huh? Me? Draw me like one of your French girls. Yeah, you. Strike a pose, kid. I'm about to make you famous. Something feels weird about her calling me a kid, but... You know, she's a fairy. She might be super old. I don't know. Uh, okay. So, you learned how to paint back when you were growing up at the palace, huh? <laughs> He's so awkward. Yeah, let's just hold it there for the next seven hours. Uh, did they have a famous artist come teach you or something? 
No, actually, Sir Sloane was my teacher. What? Wow, that's not what I expected to hear. He drew with his freaking sword. He was no professional, of course, but he really was rather talented. He often painted the views from the palace. And when I saw him at work, I knew I wanted him to teach me. Wow. Stop. You mustn't move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Hmm. She's really into this. Which means my plan is working. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't see anything on our canvas. <sighs> How much longer? Another six hours and forty-seven minutes. And I'm done. Yes, that ought to do for me as well. So I can move now. Yep. Why don't you come take a look at what we made of you? I hope they actually show it. I'm afraid I'm rather rusty. It's certainly not my best work. Let's see. Oh, oh that's so cute. It's so good too. Whoa, Gloria, this is amazing. I think you might have made him look a little cooler than in real life, but yeah, that is pretty good. Let's see yours, Adele. Uh... Yes! It's, um... It's certainly unique. I choose you. But this one's a clear win for Gloria. Sorry. Hey, I'm a little rusty myself, you know. And what am I supposed to do with a model like you? I'm not a miracle worker. Dang, sassy ass child. Oh, oh so it's my fault now? No, it's just... I'm more of a landscape artist, you know? Yeah, show me some good scenery and I'll blow your mind. Well, we have plenty of paint left. Perhaps we should find somewhere with a nice view and see what we can come up with. Not for competition's sake, you understand. I'd simply like to try. Oh, it is on. Time for round two. The landscaping. Let's find us that view. The Reckoning. It's not done. Okay, then. <laughs> Uh, what was... You clobbered some kind of giant bear-like beastie, is it? Hmm... Nah... Carnabine. Carnabin what? Well, there's a legend we have, see, about a creature called the Moon Guzzler. Is that what it was called? I forgot to read its name. And you're saying that's the monster which attacked us? You never know. The story goes that this whole area was once all green forests and grassland. And the moon guzzler was the scourge of just about everyone. He did have the moon on his head. It really reminded me of Ursaluna from Pokemon. The beast was insatiable, roaming the land, devouring anything and everything. Nothing and nobody was safe. The Lord of Dragons tried to reason with it, but to no avail. And when reason failed, he tried to drive it away by force. But the creature proved unstoppable. In the end, our lord and master had no choice but to exploit the beast's one weakness, the cold. And so the land was wrapped in snow and ice. That's how Rheindal and everything around it came to be how it is today. At least, that's what the legends say. And you really think the thing we fought was the monster from your story? Can't say for certain, but based on your description, I say it might have been. Could be that things soaring out a bit has brought the old beastie back. I mean, it was tough, but legendary monster tough? I'm not so sure. Well, it's only just woken up after a long old sleep, innit? Stands to reason it wouldn't be at its best. Either way, maybe now you got rid of it, a snow elk or two might come sniffing back around. Pop by next time you're in town. I might just have a roast for you that'll knock your socks off. What you're saying is... We still don't have food now. Sounds good to me. We'll be here with bells on. In the meantime, I guess we'll have to settle for Alps wine, huh? Hell yeah. Uh, we... well? Of course. We can't very well turn our noses up at the only thing on offer. Give me strength. Oh, Elvis. Ha ha ha. Party chat. 
A disconcerting delicacy. <sighs> all that work. All that hard work. And no snow elk to show for it. Well, there's always regular venison. I hate to break it to you, but snow elk is nothing like venison. It, it's not? But it's just deer meat, right? Well, n n no, actually. A snow elk, despite the name, aren't deers at all. They look like them, but they're really a speci species of cow. A, a, a cow named after a type of deer? That's confusing. Wow. Now I want to try it even more. And you know what's even more confusing? It actually tastes a lot like pork. You what? <laughs> so it's a cow named after deer that tastes like a pig. What? <laughs> yes, uh, it is a little hard to get one's head around. Look, the animal kingdom's complicated, okay? Things don't always fit neatly into little boxes. <sighs> I guess they really don't, eh? Yeah, that makes you wonder what the moon guzzler would have tasted like. Chicken? Maybe? Should have gotten a slice? Aye, could be. <laughs> I wish we could have kept a leg or two to stick in the fi uh, on the fire now. And I'm kind of glad we didn't. Elvis got another quest? What? What's going on, Elvis? Oh, poorly fellow's lost. We kind of come far the way. He must belong to someone here in town. Hmm. Maybe there's some place nearby. Aye, I thought the same thing. Nobody's come looking for him, though. And I'm only a pup and all. Where's your ma and your dad? Let's go ask around. Somebody must know something. One star quest. Two star quests. The, mysteri the mystery couple. This poor wee puppy is lost. Kind of come far though. He must have belonged to someone here in town. Let's ask around. Someone's bound to know. Look for the puppy's owner. Okay, so let's see our map currently. We have... Gone fishing. The brush off. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take that one off for now. Cold soldier. Oh, it's also there. Ah, oh, fine. Was a cold soldier? Oh. That looks like rough. Okay, let's. Actually, the orange one is just to the right. It'll be quicker, hopefully. You did it! The monsters are gone! Now I can finally fish myself, silly. What's that? What kind of fish can you catch there? Well, now. It's a lot of whales, mainly. Massive, great big ones. Oh, and sharks! But you have to watch out for walruses and polar bears if you want to catch anything. What? What's that? That, that little lot sounds scarier than monsters. Don't be silly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Adamant Bengal. Honestly, don't remember when I completed that quest, but... A job done is a job done. Okay, we can add another one. Don't. Pals. We definitely can't do pen pals. We can do... We can do this one since it's outside of town and when we teleport to Halcyon it'll be outside of town. But I think we'll save the ones outside of town for last. Sorry to bother you, but we found a wee stray. You wouldn't happen to know who he might belong to. Oh, not again. Sorry, the little rascal's forever running off. Hang on, that's not our dog. <laughs> Course it's not. Ours is out running round the garden. What are you on about running round the garden? Poor thing only went and hurt its leg five minutes ago. Yeah, and then this nice lady came by and fixed it. Ah, oh, the dagger's I've loose. never seen healing skills like it. Poof, just like that. Is and this Dag and Celine's dog? Fixed. Yeah, she was a pro and no mistake. And to think she didn't even stick around long enough for me to say thanks. Wanted to ask her how she came to know so much so young, I did. You don't see many like her, that's for certain. Easy on the eye she was, too. Bit stern-looking, maybe, but 
in a captivating way, you know? Should you be talking about her like that in front of your wife? <laughs> Quite unruly, are you? Sounds like you've given up on your actual wife. No, 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 love. Don't be silly. Can't a man appreciate a beautiful woman with some beautiful skills without... Are you trying to wind me up? One more beautiful out of your mouth and I'll put my flipping foot in it. Um, seems you've a thing or two to be hashing out between you. We'll be getting along. Uh, no, no type Guess of white that magic. Wasn't the women's home then. Still, it was only our first try. No type of white magic is gonna fix that relationship. Haha, <laughs> zing. Don't worry, little one. We'll soon sniff out your ma and your da for you. Oh, almost sounds like he's asking us if we're sure. Listen to you, putting words in the poor pop's mouth. Less of that. With an owner to find. Okay, uh, so that's the blue one. I'm gonna save for now just in case. Sorry to bother you while you're working, but. You should be sorry. Get out, I'm working. Back after all, is it? Good. I'm glad you've finally chosen to act like a grown-up. Oh, well, that's not the right reaction. I was <laughs> expecting a kid to come back in or something. Oh, wait. Not who I thought it was. What can I do for you, then? We're trying to find out who Rover here belongs to. <coughs> Sorry, not mine. I ain't got a dog. <sighs> something troubling you? Well, I took on this young bloke, see? But he up and left just like that. No experience, but strong as an ox. Took to the old smithing like a duck to water, he did. And what's more, he listened. Like, properly listened, you know? And I never saw such an hard worker. No, it doesn't sound like Dag. He doesn't... He's, he doesn't listen. <laughs> so there I was, egging him on, telling him he'd soon be the best for miles around. And then he goes and says it. I don't know where. Sorry, mate. I'd love to stay and learn more, but I've got things to be getting on with. There's someone who needs me. You know how it is. And just like that, he was gone. Honest hard workers like that don't come along often. Gutted, I was. Not here either, eh? Sorry, little. Where's the pop gone? He must have run off while we were talking. Ah, that's no good. Come on, we'll split up and find him. Okay, it's in the... It's south of here. Yeah, I'll tackle this quest for now since we're already on this side. Yep. Going to the graveyard. I don't remember what the orange quest was. Eh, we'll find out. Bingo! This is perfect! Oh, this is a landscape one. What do you think? The view's something else, right? Yes, it's wonderful. I had no idea there were places like this so close to town. Oh, can you hear that? It's the lake saying, Paint me, please, Adele! Paint me! Paint me like one of your French lakes. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty good spot. Well, shall we? Let's do this. Prepare to be outbrushed, Prince. Prince. So, what kind of paintings did you used to do back home, Gloria? <laughs> Whoa, that's some serious concentration right there. Yep. I'd say we've successfully taken her mind off things for sure. There. All done. It's been five seconds. Wow, this is just amazing, Gloria. Oh, wow, that actually looks You have a real really talent. Good. Oh, it's her, it's her special theme. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. The scenery, the water. You captured it all perfectly. I can't believe you're an amazing artist on top of everything else. Unlike someone I know, and he just turns to his left. <laughs> oh no, I only ever learned the basics, honestly. All right, Adele. Show me what you got. <laughs> Wait, is this something finished? <laughs> Why is it green? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Yes, it's finished. You don't like it? But, no, I... it's... Wait, it's kind of... 
abstract, right? That's why it looks this way? I think it's wonderful and completely unique. Well done, Adele. Whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Did all this painting take your mind off things or not? Oh, yes. I feel like a weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Thank you so much, Adele. Oh, I didn't really do anything. Wait, you're not sure about losing? Oh, the competition thing was just for fun. I've done what I set out to do. Now I guess it's time we were heading back. Sure. Let's get going. That was a pretty nice non-sequitur, to be honest. Party chat! Sometimes the button doesn't work! Oh no, I missed! Oh wait, there we go. Art appreciation. Hmm. So, this is glorious painting, eh? Let's take a wee look. Crikey! This is good! They spent no expense teaching you, did they, your highness? Right? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I still can't believe how good you are, Gloria. Oh, please, you're, you're too kind. It's nothing special. Well, compared to Adele's, it's, uh, I mean, uh, yours is kind of interesting too, Adele. Your art's subjective and all, so... Oh, shut up, will you? You're making it worse. Why don't I take a look at it? It's, it's nicely done, th this. Really? I mean, you get it, don't you, Elvis? Totally! I see where you're coming from with this whole... How do you pronounce that? Thermaturgic... <laughs> Thaumaturgical thing? Thauma... Th Thauma what? I... There was an illustration just like it in one of my first magic textbooks. So... What's the message exactly? Oh... Uh, uh, I, I, I guess it's kind of... Uh, no, Metaphor for liberating the world from the clutches of evil? I, I, now I take a look at it uh, closer. I can really see that. What? Come on, Adele. You, you totally just made that up. How dare you try to... How dare you call my process into question? Honestly. <laughs> That's pretty nice. All right, we never finished that merchant one. Oh. Oh, you didn't half have me worried, you little rogue, you. <laughs> Elvis found this outside of the inn just to bring it back to the inn. Maybe the dog was in the right spot. We just took it away. How many times have I told you not to go running off like that? Well, would you look at that? Seems he found his owner all by himself. <laughs> not quite by himself, no. A couple it was. A great big burly bloke and a proper snooty looking woman. Wasn't so sure about them at first. They didn't seem exactly the do-gooder type. They weren't at first, but they've changed. Didn't help that the big lad was covered in cuts and bruises either. But it turns out that was only because of the runaround this little devil gave him. Aren't you naughty, eh? <laughs> Ran off before I had a chance to thank them properly, they did. Proper mysterious like. Mystery. Anyway, that's enough excitement for one day. Come on, you, off to bed. <laughs> I guess all's well that ends well, huh? A great big burly bloke and a snitty woman, eh? Can't help thinking that sounds familiar. Anyway, that's the case of the lost wee doggy solved. Nice work, everyone. Especially me. Did all the work. Oh, we're not even gonna see. Oh, we got achievement problem solver. Party chat. Button. Okay. Cats or dogs? Okay, guys. Here's a question for you. Cats or dogs? Uh, cats, I guess. But why do you even want to know? Oh, I'm just curious. That's all. It's no big deal. I'm a cat person too, by the way. I find them soothing somehow. I well, I'm a dog man on the way. Don't get me wrong, I got nothing against the muggy. I just can't see. I just seem to get better with dogs. They're friendlier on the whole. A cat can be plenty friendly too, when they're in the mood. It all depends on how you treat them. 
What about you, Gloria? Which do you prefer? Oh, I'm more of a dog person. I used to have a little atoil, atoil, atoil. In fact, <laughs> I used to keep a cat back on the boat. Really, cats can live in at the sea. Sure, they can. And you need them too. How else would you keep the rats under control? Yeah, they're pretty good at that. <sighs> Should have seen this one. I used to give her a treat every time she caught something. Huh. I like your thinking. Huh, nothing crazy, just a little fish or something. Sometimes more rats. She got a little too old for it in the end though. Had to leave her back at the port. Wonder how the old girl's doing. Aww. And now we have... Oh, all three of them are out here now. Three kingdoms in trouble at once, eh? It looks like we'll have our work cut out. But as long as the four of us are together, there's nothing we can't do. We could spend days mulling things over and still be none the wiser about the best course of action. If you ask me, we need to make a decision and go with it. Halcyonia, Savalon, Wiswald, all three kingdoms have done so much for us. Like, throw us in jail. <laughs> and now the three... Uh, now all three are in danger. We must not abandon them. We cannot. Uh, let's see. Where's the merchant, dude? He's always... Oh, wait, I... I forgot to uncheck that box. Okay, so we have... I want to put this one on, so we're gonna do it. Uh, Wayward Merchant is that one. And Pen Pals we can't do because it's in Wizwald. So... In dreams, it's a wayward merchant. Okay, cool. Wayward merchant, here we go! Next one's gonna be a dungeon. Or next two, actually. The one with the... The one with the new class, as well as the one probably... In one of the dungeons that we haven't visited. Because I'm, I skipped a lot of the dungeons that were in this Rhymedal area. So you found him then? Yeah, and not a moment too soon. He was about to get eaten by monsters. He's not joking. If this lot hadn't happened along when they did, I'd have been a goner for sure. Oh, you had me worried. I turned around and suddenly you were gone. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I was right with you the whole time, and then I looked up and you just weren't there. Those wayward woods are rotten though, aren't they? It's like they're designed to be deliberately confusing. Someone should, you know, name it something to make it more obvious. Well, anyway, you're both here now, and in one piece too. We are indeed. Thanks again. I owe you more than words can say. Right, are you ready for this meeting? Oh, <laughs> you bet. Oh, that's a lot of PG. Party chat. The Wayward Woods. There's something about plunging into the forest that really gets me going. Like stepping into a whole other world. Makes me want to just keep exploring until I've rooted out every last secret there is to find, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. Guess there is an explorer inside all of us, huh? You bet there is. Deep down, we just all want to roam the wilds, building dens, and whittling implement <laughs> uh, and you wonder why we wind up having to go and rescue people who get lost i can certainly see the appeal of in the idea of exploring the woods but one must be careful careful indeed where's the romance in careful eh getting lost is half the fun dying a pitiful death is all the other half and the more you lost you get the more proud you can be when you finally emerge back into civilization Back when I was training, I used to deliberately lose myself in the wayward woods just so I could find my way back out again. You, you did what? That's so dangerous. Anything could have happened to you. Aye, but it didn't, did it? And it sharpened my senses like you wouldn't believe. D deliberately getting lost? It does sound very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'd say you're lucky to be alive. But it really sharpened your senses. That's pretty cool. Ugh. Don't
don't you go getting any stupid ideas. One reckless idiot is more than enough. Okie dokie.